Hello. So, gonna do a reading today. Uh, today's reading is just going to be an energy reading. Gonna see what comes up. Um, yeah. See what comes up. King of Wands, the Page of Wands, and Strength. Alright, so yeah, King of Wands, Page of Wands, and Strength. So with these ones, I feel like, I feel like there's a bit of going backwards. So because it goes King of Wands and Page of Wands, I feel like there is something that you feel like you've been, you've been like, the like the top of something like like you're either the leader of something or you're the you know the best person for the job kind of thing or you've been doing something really well but there's been something recently where it's like you felt like you've had a bit of a knockback like either that uh someone's come along and kind of showed you something that you're not quite as good as you thought you were or or that somebody else could have come along and they you think that they're better than you kind of thing um yeah i feel like there is something that's kind of knocked you back a little bit um which has kind of knocked you back into a um a feeling of not feeling as stable as you were before so i feel like this has obviously happened for a reason uh that yeah it's and the reason and with the strength card coming out i feel like the the reason is that the strength that you had before was it was real but i feel like the universe is like we can do better so yeah you felt strong before but it's almost like you needed a knock back to to there could have been a, a bit of a creeping of um, of ego creeping in there so you could have been because you were the top of your game kind of thing or you you know were in a, a great place it, it could have knocked you back because it's like maybe the ego side of it was coming in a little bit too much like you thought oh you know I'm I'm the greatest kind of thing which is not a bad thing but I feel like instead of yeah it being from a place of of just being sitting on your throne kind of in being content I feel like it was kind of like oh I've got power over these people you know and I feel like that's the kind of ego creeping in yeah so whoop. okay we'll take those two okay so we've got the helper of emotion and the nine of abundance so the helper of emotion it says romance blooms and you find yourself falling in love gifts of flowers love letters and poems read aloud are all in your future marriage proposals weddings and past life connections are possible Someone new who is romantic, dreamy, and emotional may enter your life. This person could be an artist who is an idealist about love. So that's a nice card. Um, and then we've got the Nine of Abundance. So it's life is wonderful. Your hard work and dedication to your dreams will provide you with, the, with great peace and contentment. Take time to enjoy quiet moments of reflection and leisure. Feel free to buy yourself small luxurious gifts and earn, oh, you've earned the financial security and independence you now enjoy. So both of those are really beautiful cards. So I feel like yeah that's kind of i feel like that's why the the knockback has had to happen because perhaps it could be i mean if this relates to a relationship it could be that you might say you were single you could have been dating somebody and you know you could be you know feeling really great about it but then the universe is like nope we can do better this is too you know ego connected and then it's kind of like knocked you back and you're like oh okay well I, I thought I was going somewhere with that person, but okay. And then another person will come into your life. So, you know, with this one, it's kind of like the, the right connection will be coming in. Um, yeah, or, I mean, if it's to do with, uh, you know, uh, possibly the home or something, or I don't know why I'm getting, like, building a home. I don't know if it's something to do with, like, homes and either moving home or um, renovating your home in some way or something like that. It could be that... Um, you know the way you thought that you were going to do something was like oh you know I know what I'm doing and I'm going to do it like this but then something's come along and knocked you back and you're like oh actually I can't do that or um, you know something's kind of stopped you in your tracks and then you've had to kind of go back to square one 
which kind of seems like it's a bit of an annoying thing to happen or you're a bit pissed off about it, but it's actually for a reason because it's actually connecting you up with other things like the you know the romance blooms and you find yourself falling in love so it's kind of like that happened for something else to come in because it was keeping your ego in check and it was also like we can do better here's something better you know so I think if that's the way you kind of look at it then you can probably get through it without having a bruised ego <laughs> yeah and then see so yeah, life is wonderful your hard work and dedication to your dreams will provide you with great peace and contentment yeah so I don't feel like the goal is changing I feel like your goal is the same but it's kind of like it's it's just like the universe bringing in the right things around you so whether that be the right person or the right you know support or the right job or the right circumstances you know it's it's yeah it's just a bit of a switch over you know which from a earthly perspective it's like it feels like a bit of a knock back to you or a you know a bit of a mm, why did that happen but it's yeah it's just things going on uh behind the scenes to to make your life more wonderful and, and beautiful and things like that so yeah i feel like there's there's a lot of good things coming out of this so if anybody's going through anything at the moment where it feels like you've got a bit of, a bit of a bruised ego then yeah you'll be fine <laughs> you'll be fine um yeah i feel like there's the, the, the strength it's like the removal of ego you know this that's what you know the strength card is all about it's like the, it's having strength but with the removal of your ego and um yeah about love and you know um it's very um heart chakra um connected so it's obviously something that you feel very pulled towards so yeah it's better to for this to happen now and so that you can move to the thing that you actually really want rather than you get stuck in something that's not how it felt you know like further on down the track so yeah all right well, I hope that helps somebody out there. Uh, if you would like a personal reading done by me, then you can message me at hello at stacysadler.com. I do written readings online. Um, yeah, and I also do in-store readings as well. So you can book a reading um, in-store if you want one in person. Or yeah, I'll do written readings online. Right, so I hope that helps somebody, and I will talk to you on the next reading.